everyone welcome back to another off-road video today we're out here in Sutton Alaska hitting the wishbone lake trail very very easy trail on a scale from one through five it's like a two uh, most stock vehicle can do it um, you just need stock clearance like 231 inch tire and you'll be fine so right now we're at the slipper lake junk as always open range and we got a convoy about 10 rigs all very capable rigs stock rigs modified rigs and we're gonna go have some fun. Come along, enjoy the show. Whee! Here's a trailhead way over here at the far corner. Really hard to notice or very hard to find unless you know what it is, but once you know it's pretty easy. Uh, the, from here to the Wishbone Lake, it's roughly about nine miles, about eight and a half, nine miles. Um, if you're taking your sweet time, about two hours. Yeah, I think we go left here. Three. This is it right here, I believe. What's that, Where are you meeting? Nice. Super, super easy trail. Most 4x4 rigs can do it. People actually live up here too. There's some residential up here. This trail does need some grooming. Lots of overhanging brushes and trees and branches. Maybe next time I'll bring my chainsaw and do some trail maintenance. Problem. I got a problem. Did you go in the water? I went in the water. <laughs> My tire, I think I popped a bead or something. Nova, you gotta get it, you gotta get out, get out, Nova! <laughs> Should have went inside the water. <laughs> no, my Can you pop a tire? Uh, I hear air coming out, but Nova's stuck in front of me, so he got to get out. He, he's got to get out first. Hey, well, we're sitting up here in this, this channel. Uh, please advise. Is there even a way around that? I'm 
gonna try to get out first. Hold on. All right, I'm out. I'm out. No one's stuck though. Hold on. Please repeat. All right, so I'm out, but I gotta change my tire real quick, and then Nova's gonna winch out. So we're gonna be back here for a bit. All right, guys. So I decided to go through this ice right here, and I broke the ice, and I also popped one of my tires. I don't think I popped the beat. I think I actually spla I slashed it. So that sucks, but it is what it is. Did you button the beat or no? I, I think I, I think I slashed it. I didn't think the ice would do that, but that's crazy. <coughs> oh, he's not. No, he got he got front, but I think he's open diff. Come on, you almost got it. Okay, it took us like 10 minutes to swatch off the spear. Thankfully, I had my spear. I was, I put my spear away for the season, but then I put my spear back on. And uh, we popped the valves. So that's good. It's only a valve. So no big issue. Yeah, it's just a valve stem, so it's all good. I was worried that I cut that tire because that's a brand new tire, less than 2,000 miles. But it's not a tire. Too nasty, huh? Nasty. Gnarly. Okay, look. <laughs> Thought he was gonna be like a bull in a china shop. It's gonna break right now after we go through. Jeremy just went through. It's gonna break now. That's right, and then it'll be trouble. Yep, Jeremy's having trouble, so once I break it, the other rigs behind me is gonna have trouble. Going through. through it but I made it really bad so I'm gonna wait for the other guys Open diff, open diff. Uh, <coughs> I see it's gnarly. Oh, he's teaching his son, huh? <coughs> got the son in the driver. Pit. Yeah, you gotta hit with speed. These are, these are. Yeah, I'm heavy, so I like. Father and son off-roading together, that's how you do it, man. Teach them young. So, no, no lockers up front, but I think it has a rear locker. Hey, we gotta go back. 
when we go back, it's gonna be another story. Great work. Just pull up, pull up. Nice, all about choosing the right line, man. Great work, man. <coughs> Easy. Super Swamper 22RE SAS. Current time is 1.05 p.m. We are 5.83 miles into this trip. Uh, so far it's taken us an hour and 35 minutes average travel speeds 3.7 miles per hour according to the onyx hunt uh, that was that was with my 15 minute tire changeover i want to say it was about 10 minutes honestly but so far so fun doing great nissan's doing well the stock tacoma up there is doing well lots of fun okay let me go to low gear now here we go hell climb down to 20 psi because i thought this was an easy trail uh, if i really if i really want more traction i should have went down to 10 psi but it's all good the snow coverage up here makes me happy Same. <laughs> Wishbone Lake is right on the bottom. This lake here has secret water, the fountain of youth. Come here to cleanse your body and cleanse your truck. Make your truck five years younger. <laughs> All right, which way are we going, guys? Woo! Slippery sloppy. Let's go low, low. Low first gear. Why didn't it just take the other way? Wow, this lake is beautiful.
that where we're going down there where the um, red Jeep is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jeep is stuck. Uh oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, left side go through the front. Want to pull off the front? Oh, you're coming around. The in action, look at that. A little bit of creek water here. Backwards. Light truck versus the uh, Jeep right here. <laughs> Stand by, one more pull. Split in the wood. You think this lake is safe to drive on? <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, two more months, but once it's later on when it gets snow out here, it's very really hard to get out here anymore, so it's all snow machine. Tacoma. Yeah. Right, so cracked right here. Oh, that's not cracked right here. I mean, it's not like broke, broke, you know. That just happened right now. Yeah, it happened halfway up. Right. Here, uh, we can, it was like, and when he goes, didn't get a lot of action film because we're all single file line, but easy trail. Nissan made it out here, the stock Tacoma made it out here. These guys are just on regular size tires. So, easy. Like I said, it blew up my, <coughs> I lost my valve stem um, on that ice breakage, but other than that, not a big deal. Let me show you guys the rear. This is this tire, the rear driver. So the valve stem completely came off. It's probably in there right now. So the B didn't break that bad at all. The beat is still in there. The beat is still intact, but I'll get it clean up and just take it to a tire shop. Have them uh, put a new. Be I might have them put a new metal valve stem. Uh, the metal one seems much more better.
is uh, 2 p.m. right now. We're getting ready to row out. So we're not, uh, half of the guys or majority of us are not gonna take the same route back. We're gonna take an alternative route that gets us through Moose Creek and then it gets us to the highway much faster instead of going all the way back to Slipper Lake where we originally started. Oh, I guess that's it. I should have took that route. <laughs> I took the metal lane. White Tacoma broke it down first, and then after that, I just came crashing on it. That's all right there. Yeah, which surprised me that it is because it's, I think it's deeper on that side. Better hurry up. Yeah, it's solid. Oh, no. They're high center right here. No, that's, that's even worse now. Yeah, that's... If they break up the middle, they will get high center. You get high center? No, it's not gonna work. It's those, those, yeah, those too deep. It's too deep in there. He, he doesn't have the crawl mode. He's using low gear. That's crawler right there. Yeah, he's trying to break the center. Oh, don't do that with the broken frame. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Forgot about the brain. You got a broken frame. Get out of there. <laughs> We go. Was he going this way?
guys turned back because one of the uh, Tacoma couldn't make it so a couple guys led them back the old way which is easier to get out and we are coming up to the Moose Creek so this is the other exit gets us closer to the highway and our journey is almost over for this fun trip this trail is honestly supposed to be one of the easy trail but I guess when it's frozen up like this has five six inches of ice that break through it becomes a nice fun challenge so this trail was definitely worth having some fun but we did not expect it to be a little bit difficult it wasn't super difficult it was just definitely difficult for folks that were smaller and stock and we did not expect that so it is what it is we'll definitely be coming back next year to have some more fun on the Swishbone Lake Run PM, we all made it out of the Moose Creek. Well, not all of us. Four rigs turned back. Here we are. Beautiful turnout. This run was way more funner than I expected. I expected a very boring, easy run, but we have some nice challenge. We broke one valve. Nothing crazy. So here we are, airing up, making our way back out. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Catch you guys on the next off-road video. See you guys next time.